So in this video, we are going to learn how to add new leads from Instagram lead ads to Salesforce. Let's say you're running some ads on Instagram and using those ads, you are generating some new leads. Now you want to add these leads into your Salesforce CRM so that you can continue with the next process. So let me tell you how you can automate this process. Using this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in Instagram lead ads, automatically with the same details, we are going to add this lead in our Salesforce CRM. So if you want to learn how you can set up this kind of automation, for that you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Instagram account. And I have connected my Instagram account with my Facebook page as well. And from this Facebook page, I am running some Instagram lead ads. So I have created a Facebook ad campaign to generate some new leads from Instagram. Now I want that whenever a new lead is generated using Instagram lead ads, I want to add that same lead in my Salesforce CRM as well. Now to do this, what we have to do, we have to connect our Instagram lead ads account, basically our Facebook ads account with Salesforce. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Pabli Connect to do so. And to access Pabli Connect, we will just go to a new tab in our browser and we'll search for pabli.com slash connect. And here you can see we are on the landing page of Pabli Connect. After coming to the landing page, here you can see two options. First one is sign up free and second one is sign in. Now, if you are new to Pabli, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account like me, you can just click on sign in and sign into your own Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you will reach to this all apps page. Here you just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And as you click on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. And after reaching to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. So just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as Instagram lead ads to Salesforce. Instagram lead ads to Salesforce. Then after that, just select the folder of your Pabli Connect account in which you want to create this automation and click on create. After clicking on create here, you can see the workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our Instagram lead ads account with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new lead is generated using Instagram lead ads, automatically the details of that new lead will be received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. After that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of that new lead to Salesforce and we are going to add that same lead in Salesforce CRM as well. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window in Choose Apps, search for Instagram lead ads. Just select it. After selecting Instagram lead ads in trigger event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as new lead instant. And after selecting the trigger event, we just have to connect our Instagram account or Facebook account with Pavli Connect. So just click on this connect button and select add new connection. After selecting add new connection, click on this connect with Instagram lead ads button. Now, as I told you that my Instagram profile, my Instagram account is connected with my Facebook page or my Facebook account. And we are running ads on Instagram using Facebook Ad Manager or should I say Meta Ads Manager. So to capture the Instagram leads inside of a public connect workflow, we have to connect the same Facebook account over here. So here you can see on my Facebook page, we will go to settings and under settings, under linked account, you can see this is my Instagram profile which we have connected. So what we have to do, we have to connect this particular Facebook account with Pavli Connect. So here in this pop-up box, it is asking us to select the Facebook account and continue. So I'll just click on continue after selecting the Facebook account. And after selecting the account and clicking on continue, we will see our Instagram lead ads account will also get connected with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. So here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the pages which we have in our Facebook account. So here what you have to do, you have to select the Facebook page which is connected with your Instagram profile. 
So the name of my Facebook page, which is connected with my Instagram profile is named as Peak Performance Physio, as you can see over here. So from this drop down, I will be just searching for that particular Facebook page. And then I'll just select that Facebook page over here. After selecting your Facebook page, which is associated with your Instagram account, you have to select the lead gen form. So while creating the ad campaign here, you can see I have selected this same Facebook page and all the lead generation form, which I have created under this Facebook page, you can use all of those forms in your Instagram ads to generate some new leads. So here in public connect, it is asking us that using which particular form, the leads from which particular lead gen form you want to receive inside public connect. So if you want to add the leads from some specific lead generation form in Salesforce, you can select that particular form over here. But if you want to add the new lead from all the lead gen form, which you have created for this Facebook page, you can select this all lead gen forms. Now, because I want to receive the new leads from Instagram for all the lead gen form, which I have created, like I have created four forms and I want the lead from all of these four forms. So that's why I'm selecting all lead gen forms over here. After selecting all lead gen forms, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you will see it will now change to waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some details, some response of a new lead from Instagram lead ads. Now, if you have an active ad campaign on Facebook or if you have an active ad campaign for Instagram leads, then what you can do, you can just wait for a few minutes for a new lead being generated and you can capture the response of an actual lead. But if you don't want to wait for some time or if you don't have a live ad campaign right now, what you can do, you can use the Facebook lead ad testing tool. So under Meta for developers, you can use this lead ad testing tool to generate some test lead. Now, if you want to know how you can access this lead ad testing tool and using this, you can generate a test lead. For that, we already have a dedicated video live on the channel. You can refer to that video and learn more about this lead ad testing tool. But right now, I'm going to use this lead ad testing tool to generate some new lead for this particular page, which is connected with my Instagram account and for this lead gen form. So to generate a test lead, click on this preview form button. So here from this drop down, you can see a list of all the pages which I have in my Facebook account. I have selected this page and from this drop down, I have selected the lead gen form. Now let's click on this preview form button. And after that, here you can see our lead gen form will open in front of us in preview mode. Now here in this form, I'm going to enter the details of a test lead of a dummy lead. Let's say the name of the person is demo user. This is the name. Then the email address is this. And this is the dummy mobile number, which we are entering. And the company is for example, Pavli. So just now in this lead gen form, we have entered the details of a test lead, a dummy lead. Now let's click on next and click on submit. And as we click on submit, we will see just now we have generated a test lead, a dummy lead using lead ad testing tool. This means in our Instagram lead ads, we have received a new lead. And because we have connected our Instagram lead ads account with public connect, we will see in our public connect workflow in this trigger step within few seconds, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of the same lead. We have the same name demo user. We have the same email, same mobile number, and also the same company name. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have successfully received the new lead from Instagram lead ads in our public connect workflow. After this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to add this same lead in our Salesforce CRM. For that, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in choose app, we will search for Salesforce. Just select it. After selecting Salesforce, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as create lead. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Salesforce account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Salesforce button. Now because I have already logged into my Salesforce account in my browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account. And here in this pop-up window, we will just scroll down and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we will see our Salesforce account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the last name. That what is the last name of the person of the lead which we want to add in Salesforce. So we have received the details of a new lead from Instagram lead ads in the trigger step. And out of all of these responses, 
Here you can see we are going to send the response of the lead details from this trigger step of Instagram lead ads to the sales post action step. And to add the details from trigger step to action step, we will be using a process called mapping. And the process of mapping is very simple. Let's say in this field, I want to add the last name of the lead which we have received. So what we are going to do, we will just click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Instagram lead ads of a new lead. Out of all of these responses, select the response of last name and it will be mapped. After mapping the last name, in the next field, it is asking us first name. And we are going to use the same process of mapping once again. Just click on this field and from the drop down, select the response of first name and map it. Then we haven't received the title of the new lead from Instagram lead ads and the field of title is also not mandatory, is not required. So you can ignore this field for now. Then it is asking us for the company. So we have received the response of company name. So we are going to select it and map it. Then we are going to map the phone number and then we are going to map the email address. So in this way, you can map all the details which you have received of a new lead from Instagram lead ads to the Salesforce action step. Then it is asking us website and description. So we don't have both of these details and these details are not mandatory as well. So if you want, you can just ignore these things for now. Then it is asking us lead source. So from the drop down, let's say I want to select web. You can basically select any other option. The status of lead I want to be open, not contacted and the rating is hot. Then here we don't have the address of the lead. So we are going to keep this field of street, city and country as blank. But if you get the address, you can map it over here as well. After mapping all the details, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details of a new lead which we have mapped over here with the same details, this lead has been added in our Salesforce CRM. So let's check it. We will go to Salesforce and we will go to leads section. And yes, here you can see demo user, the same person whose details we have just now added in the lead ad testing tool, in the Instagram lead ad testing tool form. Here you can see the same lead is now added in our Salesforce CRM. And we have the same name, same company, same phone number, and also the same email address. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. For that, we will go back to the lead ad testing tool and we are going to generate another test lead. But using this lead ad testing tool, we can only generate one lead at a time. So what we can do, we can just delete the existing lead which we have generated just now. And after deleting the lead, we will just refresh this page once. After refreshing the page, just click on preview form. And now we are going to enter the details of a new lead. For example, the name of the lead is test user. This is the name. This is the email address and after that, this is the dummy mobile number which we are entering. The company is for example, Tesla, just for an example. So just now we have entered the details of our new lead of another test lead in this lead ad testing tool. Let me update the email and here it is. After this, let's click on next and click on submit. So as we click on submit, we will see just now another lead is generated. And within few seconds, we will see instantly the details of the same lead will be sent to Salesforce and this lead will be created in our Salesforce CRM. So we will go to Salesforce. Once again, we'll go to the leads page. And yes, here you can see test user, the same lead is added. We have the same name, same company, Tesla, same phone number and the same email. So we have tested our automation in real time and this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same automation workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.